Okay, let's continue with our little printed circuit board here. And we should really fix a couple of things here. And uh, if we zoom in here, let's see here, zoom in here. We have a value here of 1K. We don't want this value to be printed on the silk screen. It wants, is it the footprint you want to move? Is the, is it the value? 1k you want to move and that is the thing I want to move and we can move it but we don't even want it to be printed so if I hover over and press E as in edit and I select the value I got an option here and it's uh, display visible and then I put invisible that's a good thing and press ok so that's one little change we can do uh, we can move this value out a bit. Uh, let's press M, hover over and press M. Let's see here. Press M there. No? Yeah. So we can move it maybe there. It's always a good thing to have everything written in one direction. Uh, so the battery here, we can move that one, overall press M, rotate it like that, and the reference name as well, and move and rotate, maybe we put it over there, switch one. If we don't have any components here, we can see the text switch one, uh, of course, and we can place the switch there, but it's better to place it outside. So let's do it. Move, because when we have mounted a component here, it's a good thing to be able to see on the printed circuit board where switch one is located. Maybe you have many switches, and then you need to have this name printed on the silk screen. Another thing we can do is to place a copper pore. So to do that you go over here, let's see. <clears throat> so to place copper pore you go out, you go to this, add filled zone, and you start drawing a zone within the um, boundaries of the printed circuit board. And you select which layer you want. I say I want to be front layer, the one top top layer and I want this copper pore to be associated to a special net in this case ground so every ground point is going to be connected to this copper pore press OK and I draw a rectangle within the outline of the printed circuit board double click gets a little hashed line like this and the reason why I don't put it exactly at the edge of the printed circuit board is that when the, the circuit board is manufactured there is a routing mill that goes around the edges of the printed circuit board and if the copper is too close you will get a um, violation of the manufacturing process rules, so to speak. So you should always have this inside of the actual outer limit of the printed circuit board. So anyway, we have defined the edges of this copper pore and it's on the top side, red front side, or top side. And we want to fill this, we go and hover over it, press, press the right mouse button and go down to fill or refill all zones and so we have a copper pore for the ground on the top side of the printed circuit board this is a ground point and it's connected to ground which is the copper pore and that is also ground point that is a ground point but this is not a ground point and it's not connected to the ground so you have some distance here for non-ground nodes. And we can also do a copper pore on the bottom side. So to do that, we go up here, 
change to the bottom side, create a copper pore there, and select the ground as a net, and trace the same thing like that. And right click, fill all zones. So now we have copper pore on the bottom side and on the top side. So we can we can take a look at one uh, copper fill at a time. For instance, the front copper fill is this one. The bottom copper fill is this one. Another thing we can do with this amazing project is to write some text on the silk screen on the top here. So let's go to text and select the silk screen. Forward silk screen, like that. And let's play some text here. Like that. And let's place it over there. Another thing that is very good to have is indication on which side is the top side and which side is the bottom side. And usually you write that somewhere in the copper layer. But as we have created this ground plane everywhere, it won't show. So let's remove this for a while. Zoom in here and select this file zone. Right click, remove field areas in all zones like that. And let's play some text here on the top side. We'll go up copper front side or top side it's called front side f as in front and we place it right there and we say top place it there and then we go to the bottom side and place a similar thing there but we say bot as in bottom and as you can see, it's mirrored, the text is mirrored. So on the bottom side, if we turn this around, it will show right for the bottom side. And we turn it back, it shows top from the top side. And this is a good thing to have on your printed circuit board. Some manufacturers want this information printed on the top and bottom copper layer. This is a two-layer design, but maybe you have a four-layer or a six-layer design. Then you need to separate the different surfaces uh, in another way. So let's re-enable the ground planes, field refill all zones like that. And you can still read this, top and bottom. And if we only take a look at the bottom copper layer, this is how that looks. And if we only take a look at the front top copper layer, it looks like this. And that's it for this video.